everybody what's going on it's your girl Alex um so yeah you see me with the slick back today because it is time to get this hair done anyway so I was asked to do a video for my hair and I was asked to do another tutorial for makeup but I figured I would do the hair now because it's Friday I just got off work and I need to get my hair wrapped and done for this weekend just because I need to get it done. I need a touch up but I'm not going to do a touch up. It's kind of wavy and, and nappy all in the same but I'm just going to wash it and show you guys how I do it. Um, for YouTube, my girl Atia, I watch her videos. I love them a lot and this is for you because you were wondering about the dry wrap and how uh, Keisha from Ohio, which Keisha, this is for you too, how she does the dry wrap, which is something I live by because I don't have a, a sit on the dryer. My hair is too thick, first of all, for me to do that because I've been there forever. So I do the, the dry wrap all the time. So anyway, this is how it's going to go. And I'll be right back to let you guys know what's the next steps. Bye. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I already took my hair out. If you can see, let me see here. I use these little bitty ones. These little bitty ones. Just yesterday and today, I already broke two of them. This this is a lot of hair, people. I'm serious. This is a lot of hair. So but anyway, I'm about to wash it. The stuff that I use to wash my hair, this is this is the way I do it. I am very cost savings. So if you on a budget, if this reception is, is kicking your ass like it's kicking mine, then you need to watch this video because this is how you do these things on a budget. So I start out with my Sun Silk Straight to Perfection. Um, Straighten up shampoo, smooth things out for satin straight hair. Then I go to the conditioner. Everybody see that? Okay, so this is what I'm about to start doing. Stay tuned. I'll be back with wet, drippy, stringy hair in about three minutes. Bye. Oh, yeah. Make sure you wash it twice. Twice, two or three times. But I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, everybody. I've already washed it twice. I lied and said two times, and I don't I don't know why I said that, because I know good and well that I have to wash my hair three times. Usually that first time, it does not lather up, and that's probably because, you know, your hair has all the dirts and oils in it, and you need to kind of get all those out first before you can actually start to cleansing your hair. So that's probably why it doesn't lather up too good that first time. Now the second time, it's usually a good lather. I don't, I don't try to use a whole, whole lot of shampoo, but... I do sometimes. And then this third time, like this one right here. Ooh. Third time, like this one right here, that's when I start to get the itching. I have a very itchy scalp. Not dandruff, not any flakes or, or anything like that, but just an itchy scalp. Itchy, itchy, itchy. Oh, goodness. I had to stop this. But, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to finish this up. Look at all this. Yeah, if you could just see how much hair I got, you really would be surprised. People that have been in my hair before know. But this is a lot of hair. But anyway, I'm about to wash this out. And I'll be back with the conditioning. Alright, bye. Okay, I'm back guys. Now, time for the conditioner. Um, I use a lot of conditioner because I like the soft feeling. What's good also about Sun Silk and probably any other shampoo or conditioner that you use is that it smells so good. And Sun Silk for me is good because... If you guys seen those commercials with Sun Silk, with that, I think it's a kangaroo or something. And whatever kind of problems or issues that you have with your hair, you can get that kind of Sun Silk. Like, I have this Sun Silk for straightened hair. I have a Sun Silk for TLC, uh, if your hair is kind of damaged or something like that. You can use that kind of Sun Silk. They got Sun Silk for curly hair. They got all kinds of different, for whatever kind of hair you have. That's what kind of, sun, that's what kind of shampoo and conditioner and all other kinds of treatments they have for you. So anyway, um, like I said, I use a lot of conditioner. I probably shouldn't because I'm sure they always say, you know, use a dime size, but I don't really listen to that too much. I just use it enough so that I can feel it all over my hair. Um, I know you're supposed to focus on your edges or your ends more, but I just like it everywhere. Just get it in everywhere, massage it in. And one thing you're going to notice once we get on this video is that I shed a lot. Not saying that my hair is not healthy because it is very much healthy. I just shed a whole, whole lot. I can probably start pulling out hair now if you can see. But anyway, 
Alright, so I got the conditioner in. It's feeling really nice and soft. And I'm about to rinse it out. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, so I rinsed out my hair. Another note or a tip, when you're rinsing your hair out, rinse it with cooler water because that will close up, not necessarily your pores, or maybe it does close up your pores, but closes up the, what is it called? I don't know. Just do it because that's what I've been told. Um, so now, this is an option. You don't have to do this, but sometimes I do this when my hair feels kind of dry. Use the Sun Silk Hydra TLC 24-7 cream, and you just use one or two dollops. I don't like to have a whole lot of product in my hair at all. So maybe like a little bit like that. Just kind of get that in there. Oops. I'm kind of rough too and heavy handed. For those of you all who have had me do your hair, you know that already. Uh, so anyway, so get that in your hair pretty good. And I get my big old paddle brush. Big old paddle brush, which still has hair in it, but we all right, it's my hair. And I start, I kind of, I don't do things very neat. I just kind of grab some of my hair like this and then just start from the bottom. Just brush some of it out. Brush it all out. Sounds rough right now, but it's, it really isn't. It's just how this brush is. This brush, you can hear that. It's just one of them air brushes or whatever. Anyway, it's supposed to start at the edge or at the end and then comb it out. But. Like I told y'all, I don't, I don't really have any secrets of what I do to my hair to make it look like it looks. I just kind of do whatever. <laughs> it's been growing a lot lately, but I can credit that to me getting my ends trimmed regularly. I'm a big stickler on making sure your ends are trimmed. Because if your ends aren't trimmed, your hair is not going to grow good hair. You need to get all the dead ends and all that bad hair cut out of your hair. Because there's no point in having long, unhealthy, straggly, broken-ended hair. Now, another note. Oops. Another note. My hair right now is, is kind of curly, kind of crazy acting right now. I haven't had, had, had a relax, excuse me, in a while. I don't know how long. Probably like two months. So, it gets really, really tangly. And it's really, really thick. Which is what I'm going through right now. Ugh. So how was y'all day today? Good. Mine was good too. It's Friday, so I'm glad. Um, tomorrow me and some chicks are going to go to get our pedicures and go get something to eat. That'll be fun. Some of my store rules. <laughs> I'm just happy I'm off. Okay, so anyway. This is it. This is how it's going to be. Stay tuned. I'll be right back so that I can show you guys how to go about blow drying my hair, which I will not. I refuse to blow dry my hair this whole time on this camera. Because y'all going to be sitting here waiting for like 50 minutes, 45 minutes. Anyway, be right back. Okay, so I'm about to blow dry my hair. I used Revlon, oops, Revlon 18, 1875 Ionic blow dryer. I got this a long time ago. I only got it because it was pink. Really. No significant difference of what kind of blow dryer you need. I saw that Chi Iron blow dryer, but I don't know if that's really going to make a difference. So, whatever. But anyway, hopefully you guys can hear me over this. I start like this. I usually start the front because that's what I want to be the straightest. And um, if I dry it while it's wet, it gets straighter versus me letting it stop and air dry and curl up and then me trying to straighten it. Even though I'm going to go back over it with my chi iron, still, that's kind of where I start. So, just watch for a little bit.